Good morning, good morning. It's time for an early morning with Debbie. I've had a couple of requests for some Valentine's looks, so I thought I would do that this morning. And I've got in front of me to start with here, V46, Meet Me in Paris. Who doesn't want to go to Paris? And I thought what we would do is this little look right here. Maybe not with the guy proposing, maybe we'll do the couple dancing instead, but get that Eiffel Tower and the plants in behind. So let's go ahead and start that. I think what I'm going to do for my Eiffel Tower is start with a silver color in the background. So that's gonna be our first layer there. And I've got 004, that guy to start with. And of course I've oiled my cuticles so my fingers are a little slippery at the moment. Where's my scraper? Scraper ready to go, stamper ready to go. You know I like to have everything at hand and know where it is so that the moment I scrape, I'm lifting. All right, stamper's ready to go. Scrape, oh, didn't scrape enough. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Clean that off on my sticky pad. So I'm going to scrape from a different direction. There might be a little curvature in the plate there. So if we're going to go to the outside, so my hand's probably going to be in the way here, but there we go. And you can see the difference. All right. Little trick. You scrape one way and it doesn't work out great. Scrape the other way. Okay, so I want to um, anticipate where my trees and stuff are going to go on either side of this. So I'm going to aim pretty much for the center. Let's go right about there. Oop. Tap, tap. You know what? I didn't wipe off this nail pop first. So there could be some oil or something on there. But let's see how our next layer goes. Now I'm gonna use just a flat, kind of darker gray, just to give the more authentic look of La Tour Eiffel. I think number 42 will be a nice, let's do it and see. We can always hold it over top and see if we like it. And scrape, lift right away. We wanna get all those details off and it came off nicely now if it doesn't come off nicely under the side of your scraper use your sticky pad because the sticky pad will take it off no matter what okay so now we're gonna take our time and line this up I don't know if I had enough coffee yet it might be shaky line it up and push And there's our Eiffel Tower. Okay, so now we gotta pick a couple of greens. Let's go 156. We've gotta clean off where we just lifted because our little trees are right below our Eiffel Tower. And we've got two layers. Ooh, that's maybe a little bright. Let's go something a little more earthy. Let's go 87. Let's see. Yeah, I like that, but look how thick it is. Oh, that's a good thing I picked that one. Let's thin it out a little bit. Grab my thinner. And let's just do, there's not a heck of a lot left in this bottle, so I don't wanna do too many. Three, four, five, six drops. And let's see if that does the trick. You've gotta kinda of gauge how much polish is left in your bottle before you thin it. If it's getting low, start with less drips. If you've still got quite a bit in the bottle, you can go eight drips. But you can always add more. Once you've added, you can't take it away. You could leave it open and let it dissipate, but that takes time and who wants to mess around with that, right? When you're wanting to stamp and use a color, you don't wanna to have to wait for it to evaporate again to be able to use it so start with less there that's looking much better okay 
So these are our two little trees. Now let's see, lift them together. Okay, don't wait too long once you put it on the, on the plate there. Nope, that did not work. We're gonna have to go sideways again, like we did with the Eiffel Tower, the first layer. Probably just something to do with a little bit of a curvature or something in this plate. They're very thin plates, so they're not necessarily completely, completely flat, which is another reason why it's really important to work on a flat surface. You know, if you're working over top of a, of a towel or even a paper towel, it can, it can provide a little too much bend when you're scraping especially. So let's do this. We'll scrape to the side. Yeah, see that works great. And now we can remove all the extras. Carefully don't hit anything that you don't want to remove. Now that wasn't working, so let's go to this guy. Pick up my sticky pad. Now at the very corner here, I can remove that center just with the tip of that sticky pad. Okay, now pop these down. Make sure you can see here what I'm doing on either side. And just like so, pop in our little trees. Okay, now let's grab a darker green. What have we got? I think I want, let's try 77. Let's try 77 for our outlines. I think that'll give a nice earthy look. Okay, so right beside those, obviously here are the outlines of our little bushes. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to the side immediately lift because those are really delicate little images there. Okay, so I'm going to remove that. Just turn your scraper and I'm I'm dotting it. Oh gosh, I'm way out of out of Oh, Debbie. Sorry guys, I was out of screen there. Um so I just used if you can see here the side of my scraper, but I'm just dotting it. Don't scrape it, just dot it. All right, let's see if I've yammered too much here. I've got my camera zoomed in, so. Okay, I'm liking where that one is on the right. So if you noticed, I left that one on the left because I want to go in and choose where it's going to go a little more easily than just trusting it to go together. There. Now we've got our little bushes in place. I love that combination. So what have we got? 87 and 77. It just makes a really nice wooded look there for our bushes. Okay, so let's put our dancing couple in front of our Eiffel Tower and we'll do them like I would go as dark as you probably possibly can because we're gonna have them looking more like a silhouette so that silhouette will sit right in front let me just here we go we've got our black Carly is just arriving to work hi Carly hi. <laughs> welcome to the day <laughs> We're just doing some uh, Valentine's looks here this morning. Yes. Okay, so here's our dancing couple. And we're gonna give them a scrape. Immediately lift. Uh, you know what, there's a tiny little void in his, his and her head. So let's do that one more time. We're gonna clean up first. Oh, bless her heart, Carly's over there trying to be quiet. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Do not worry. Okay, so let's do this again. 
So what I'm gonna do to try and avoid having a little void in their heads is I'm going to apply my polish up into the image and then I'm going to scrape the opposite direction and lift immediately. Much better. Get rid of those extra images that we picked up there. Okay, now we're ready to create our cute little dancing couple in front of our Eiffel Tower. So let's put them forward because we want it to appear like that Eiffel Tower is way off in the background. I'm just trying to look and see where Carly's picture is here. Yeah, you can see with these guys, they're kind of forward a little bit. So let's do the same with our dancers. Just I want to make sure his head doesn't get lost or hers. So let's go a little bit higher. Or do we want to go a little bit lower? I want to go right about there. It took me a little while to put that down, so let's give it a little wiggle and a push. Carefully pull back. Perfect. And there's our dancing couple in front of the Eiffel Tower. All right, look number one, and that is with plate number V46, and that's called Meet Me in Paris. There's tons of really beautiful, whimsical, romantic images on here. Everything from a Cupid to the Eiffel Tower to some macarons, absolutely gorgeous little heart locket here. A couple kissing under an umbrella in the rain. Another smooching couple down here. Lots and lots of pretty ones on this plate. All right, so let's move on to something else. Another plate here that we've got ready to go. What is this guy? This is V42, my creepy Valentine. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carly's over there going, mm hmm. <laughs> that was definitely a popular plate. A fun one. Yep. Okay, so let's do, ooh, let's do it on a dark. We'll do something totally different. Let's do it on this beautiful dark shade here of teal. I'm gonna do this ginormous skull here that's got the heart eyes down in the bottom left corner. It's three layers. So we're gonna do a base layer first. So let's use 51. I just think that'll look really neat on this gold. You could go silver, you could go really any color of the rainbow. But let's try this guy. Now he's down in a corner. So let's see how we do with the scrape. Ready to go. I'm gonna scrape kind of diagonally into the corner here. Oh, too, too hard. See, I took out the center. So come back and flatten it up a little bit. And we're close. I don't want to have to clean that up. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it one more time and we'll keep our scraper flatter so we don't take out the center of that image. These larger images are always a little bit of skill. Sometimes it takes a couple of goes, so I'm a little flatter with my scraper. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Make sure that we're in shot here. Okay, so I'm flatter. And there we go. As long as we've got a little bit of separation there from that part of the image, then we're good to just clean that up and put it down. And you know what, I'm not gonna worry about cleaning up everything else because this is pretty much gonna cover our image, or our nail. Give it a push and a wiggle. I'm gonna to have to clean up that line down at the bottom, but that's not hard. I'll do that with just a cotton. All right, ready for an outline. I think we should go black. Like we'll go black and then we'll do the highlights in white. That's the third layer. I know it's not super obvious that there's three layers here, but let me peek at this image. There's our base, there's our outline, and then these little guys right here are highlights. So that's gonna go inside those hard eyes. 
So let's do our outline in black, 001 here. And I've got my scraper right behind, or my stamper right behind my scraper. Give it a good hard push and a roll. And our heart eyes are nice and solid. I love that, no voids. I'm gonna use my sticky pad just to get these extra images off this time. And now we'll take a minute and line this up. So we've had just the right amount of coffee. <laughs> just the right <laughs> amount of shake. Nuts. Yeah. And there is our gold skeleton with heart eyes. Now, because we did gold, instead of doing white highlights, let's do silver, just to be a little creative. So that's 004, and these are nice and small, so again, I'm gonna be right behind it with my stamper. Pick up all of those bitty little details. Wow, the girls in the back are having fun this morning, hey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can hear it on the hopefully they can hear it on <laughs> on my recording the fun that they're having back there okay so highlights going in you can see on either side of the hard eyes here and the nose so that's what i'm making sure kind of go down the right spot here are the little curves in the hearts that's what i'm looking at while i'm aiming taking my time and then all those other little bits just kind of fall in place. There we go. How fun is that? Such a cute image. And it's kind of cool in this dark teal. Love it. Okay. So this plate, there it is up close. We've got the heart shaped um, torso or rib cage, I guess all sorts of pretty delicate images. Most of them are two or three layers, so it's a pretty simple plate to work with. I've also got the rose, some lips. It's a really versatile little plate. And, you know, the alien, of course, just in case. Gotta have that alien ship coming in to, I don't know, steal your heart or yeah. <laughs> however that works. Okay, so let's move on to another plate. Kind of give you a little tour of a whole bunch of these releases from this year. This is V49. I think we call this one Oh Darling. I think so. Huh? The script on? Yeah. 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 Oh Darling. Usually what we're doing these days mm -hmm. is we put it on the plate. <laughs> that way Deb can find it. <laughs> and it's useful. So, okay. Let's give this a little clean up here. Looks like I've been using this one quite a bit. And I think we should do one of these adorable little cherubs. They have been one of my favorites this year. So let's play with them. Go with this guy up here. So what we've done on this plate is we've done them in a solid. So if you wanted to just do white and black, for example. There's your base, there's your outline. And if you want to do it um, multi-layered, where your hair, your wings, etc., the body all have their own color, then we've also got them separated for you to do that as well. This would also make a good um, base for where you're gonna lay out your subsequent layers. So if you put this down first in the skin color that you want to use, and then hair and wings would fit over top, and then this guy over top. So, a bit of a guide as well. I'm gonna do it a little more freehand though. So, we'll do this guy first. What do we got here? 118 is out, so let's use him. And I'm gonna do the body first. Oop, that's looking a little thick. Let's try it, I don't think it's too thick but it's getting close. 
Roll and immediately lift. Oh yeah, we're good. Gotta wait a bit. Off these little bits. And let's put it on this pink one so we can see it. Put that guy down first. Like so. So for hair and wings, I think I wanna do them different colors. So let's grab 76 for the wings. Now we can attempt to do these at the same time if we like. And let's go, let's give this little cutie some gorgeous dark brown hair. Let's use number 60. 60's got a little bit of shimmer in it, antique lusters. Okay, so let's try and lift these at the same time. And again, 76 is looking a little thick. Whoops, we don't want blue hair. I mean, I guess we could do blue hair. <laughs> okay, let's go blue wings. And this gorgeous shimmery chocolate brown hair. Now I'm gonna scrape it that direction. We can always go again with these layers if we need to, but I'm gonna head over this way. Nice and, oh, that's perfect. Just a nice, strong scrape. And now we've got wings and hair ready to go. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a second here. Shake these into place. I'm going to aim for right at the top of the forehead there. And then the wings should just fall right into place. Make little adjustments as you're getting closer. It's pretty obvious where things go if you're just focusing in on that first layer. There was a little notch there where his ear was. The wing has his little shoulder in it, so you can kind of see where they slot in. Okay, now outline, let's do the outline in gold. We could do it in black, we could do it in white. I think the gold is really pretty though, so let's lift it up and we can hold it over and see if we like it. So let's use 51, because it's right here. And it's one of my favorites. ready to lift right behind it because it's pretty delicate there we go clean everything off there's not a heck of a lot to clean off with that one you can see there's a little split in my jelly there that's from pushing too hard on one of the one of the tips but it doesn't really affect a, li a lift up just be gentle when you're using sharp this, these uh, jellies over sharp nails okay so because this is so perfect normally what I would do is put a clear coat over top of that either well I was working gel polish so I would put gel polish over top of it so that just in case I mess up the outline all I have to do is wipe it up and go again without having to completely redo those other layers but I'm just gonna take my time Get those little feet in order. Looking at the wings, looking at the arm, and just getting slowly into place, being patient. Give it a little wiggle, because I was, <laughs> I'm always blathering and not stamping. So give it a little wiggle and a push. And let's slowly pull back. Perfect. And there is our adorable little cherub. Right. Okay. So there's lots of really cool images on this plate to get super creative with. Really art artsy is I guess what I would deem it. I love all these um, little sayings. I love you so much. Love, 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 love. 
Mon Amour. I love you so much. Stacked up differently. We've got arrows, je tame. We've got hearts. It's a really practical little plate. We've even got a big star and some lips. Lots to work with on this little beauty. Okay, let's do one more plate. What do we want to do here? What do we got out? Let's do our chains here. This guy. This is V50. This is one of my favorite plates this, this year as well for our releases. These chains of hearts, all different kinds of hearts, and you can use them all different kinds of ways. You don't have to use it in a chain, you can separate them. So let's do a couple with that. And here's the spec sheet and the clear one so that you can see what's gonna fit where. Take a little look at it before you commit to what you wanna put on your nails. Ooh, I love that one. That's really pretty, super simple. Let's do that guy. That would be really cute on an angle. Let's do that guy on an angle. And then matching hearts beside maybe? Let's try it. Ooh, that's really pretty too. How do we decide, Carly? There's too many, <laughs> too many cute ones. Oh, too many cute ones to pick. Okay, give this guy a little cleanup. I always seem to be in that habit where even if a plate looks clean, I just give it a wipe to make sure before I start. Okay, so let's use where's where's the my desk is too big. They got lost. 009. Let's use this guy on top of this pretty pink. Make sure that it's mixed. Give it a little roll. Okay, so this is right up here in this top corner. I'm going to use this gorgeous deep, deep red. Okay, I think I'm going to go off the edge with my scrape. Light roll over top. Now we've got a little bit to clean up over here. However, we're not going to use all of these on this particular nail. So I'm going to call that a good lift and not worry about this stuff on the edge. Our nail's not that wide anyway. Okay, so we can still go on our angle here. I'm going to kind of aim for this corner over here. And put down a bunch. Wiggle. Almost looks like chevron. Little heart chevrons. Okay, now let's outline this guy in something dark just to have lots of nice contrast. Oh, let's go with the number 60 or shimmery black or shimmery um, brown. Dark, dark brown. Beautiful, beautiful color. And we know it's nice and thin because we just used it. Okay. Nice hard scrape on this one because these are super fine and be ready to immediately roll over top. And there we go. Okay. Now, get yourself solid so that you can take your time lining these up. I'm aiming for that little one right in the center there. And once I get it in place and I know that it's lined up and so are the two on either side, just commit. In you go, give it a push. And there's our pretty outlines. So let's take one of the bigger ones. Actually, I love this one right beside it here. This one down here looks like it's exactly the same heart as that. But I do like this one that's got the little swirls on either side. So let's use it. just for something a little bit different. We've also got some highlights here that we can use on this one. Extra details are always fun. We'll lift that up with no little voids, my favorite. 
And let's put this kind of right down because this is a lovely almond shaped nail. So let's put this kind of towards the tip like that. And we're gonna use that same chocolate brown as our outline. little void up here in the corner that I don't love so let's do that again especially the line I definitely don't want to avoid the lines are already so thin that you want it to look nice and solid so I'm gonna scrape to the that way so I applied it this way and then I'm gonna come down over top with my with my lift and now we're perfect no little voids. I'm going to use my sticky pad. Make sure I get all these off. Okay, take your time. You can get nice and solid. I'm just looking right at the center in between the two bumps of that heart. We call those the two top curves <laughs> where the curves meet right in the center and there we go really pretty chain heart nail just a feature just to add that little something to your mani you can do one nail you could do all the nails whatever your heart desires oh groan <laughs> Carly's like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so here's the here's the one I did a couple days. We have days a plate ago. called Heart Desire. We do <laughs> this year, right? Yes. Yeah, it's one of our new ones. Awesome. So here's actually this little guy matches this little chain, but as you can see, you can put them all together. All right. Well, that was basically only a few plates we had many many more release this year um let me just show you there's the patchwork and there's also this guy which is a ton of fun with the interlocking colors so you can pick up two at a time and pop them down actually let's do one of these let's just do one <laughs> What's that? That's the Heart's Desire. Is that one called Heart's Desire? Yeah. This is V47. I'm so glad you're here, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why don't we do this guy? And let's do that guy. I love it. Okay, so let's use. Hmm, let's use, I love the purple, and let's use maybe a shimmery red. Let's do that, because then that shimmery red is gonna show up on our flat red. This was just a, a matted red. So let's let's try that. I'm trying to bring here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this guy first. And I only need to go down the center, because as we saw with our clear spec sheet, is not going to cover the whole nail so don't waste a bunch of polish this is 125 really pretty shimmery red now we gotta make sure we get enough in there okay and we're ready to lift up right behind just gonna clean off these just in case they get in the way and just gonna Put that point down at the bottom as close to the center as I can and go in and push. Oh, that shimmery on that mat is just gorgeous. You can see there. Okay, so let's grab a deep, beautiful purple, number 18. Got to clean up this little heart below because that's the one we're going to pick up now because that's going to go in between all these so you get that effect of the heart within a heart within a heart 
without having to lay down each and every single one separately, which, you know, has its, its merit as well, but this just makes it easier and quicker. Get our purple in there. This would be pretty with a light shimmery pink with orange with whatever colors you love to mix together. There's our lift. And again, because we've got a narrower nail, you don't have to lift up that whole image. Worry about the fact that it's not entirely there. Okay, now this is gonna go right in the center of this big one that we've put down. I'm trying to decide if I like the purple. I think I do, but I don't love it. <laughs> okay. I am bailing out of that lift and trying a different color. Let's do gold. And it's shimmery as well. I don't know, that purple was just seeming really blah. And with something so pretty, we don't want to be blah. So let's go gold. If I hold that over and I don't love it, I'm going to go pink. <laughs> Already thinking ahead. Hmm, what else would I want to do here? Okay, let's try this. Oh yeah, that's much prettier. Okay, so I'm going to aim my center of that heart. It's a little tricky to see because that red is kind of a color on color, but just take your time and give it a push. Look at that. Just how it catches the light, it's just gorgeous. Now we could do a different color in the center. We've got a heart that fits in the center if we want it, but honestly, I like it just like this. And there you go. So there's heart within a heart, and that is V47. Heart's desire, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> got a good memory, it's just really short. So tons of really neat images on this as well. All right, well, I hope that gives you a little bit of inspo for your Valentine's Manny plans. Um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.